Let me shift gears into brainwashing and propaganda. I got a bunch of different video clips here. We have the band Three Doors Down. I'm a warrior video, right? I took my, it was our anniversary last night. Took my wife to a movie. First time I've done that in about a year. <laughs> I never have time. But anyways, I go in there, and I'd heard about this from Jason Burmis. He said he went and saw a movie last week, and it was like, I'm a warrior with troops marching through the streets of America to condition you to accept troops on the streets and parades and everybody loving them. That creates the propaganda that the war is good, that you love the troops by loving war, that it's rock star, that it's cool, that, that young kids can go join the military. And, and it just goes on and on and on and on. So uh, we're not going to play this first. We're going to play this uh, citizen soldier I'm a warrior thing uh, a little bit later in the show, but this is just the most base propaganda there is. First, I want to play, and, and this isn't the one I saw in the Super Bowl. There's a bunch of these. Uh, if you go to YouTube, in fact, minimize this page. I want to show people right here. If you go to YouTube and you type in high fructose corn syrup ad, you'll get scores of them, okay? And it's all the same. Somebody's eating high fruct fructose corn syrup, somebody says, Hey, I heard that's not good for you. Oh, that's ridiculous conspiracy theory. It's absolutely wholesome and delicious from little corn. So uh, you can go watch all these if you want, but we're analyzing this one. Here's the propaganda. Hey! hey. <laughs> wow. You don't care what the kids eat, huh? Excuse me? That has high fructose corn syrup in it. And? Yeah, you know what they say about it? Like what? Honey... <laughs> It's that it's made from corn, doesn't have artificial ingredients, and like sugar, it's fine in moderation. Hello, that top. Oh, well, thank you. Get the facts. You're in for a sweet surprise. Okay, there were no facts hey. there. There were no facts there, but the image is the trendy, cool, you know, lady knows what's going on. This dumb idiot comes over and says, what are the facts? And she's like, uh-uh, uh, -uh, uh -uh, I don't know any uh, I mean and all the ads are the same it's peer pressure and they have weird ads demonizing the Second Amendment weird ads demonizing national sovereignty and weird ads out there I'm seeing where somebody will go I just I just hate black people and by the way I love the Second Amendment you know just guilt by association type stuff is now everywhere in fact let's click on another one of the uh, before we go to the Alec Baldwin ad let's cl clip on one more of those high fructose corn syrup ads here we go Yeah, I know there's no audio. Uh, YouTube's uh, shutting down. That's because they clicked it before it didn't load. <laughs> you want a bite? I thought you loved me. I do. Take two bites. It's got high fructose corn syrup in it. So? Well, you know what they say about it. What? That it's... It, um, that it's made from corn. has the same calories as sugar or honey, and it's fine in moderation. You only wrote one? Get the facts. You're in for a sweet surprise. Okay, so there's ad after 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 ad all over TV, the Super Bowl. That's the one I've seen on the Super Bowl. And it's the same thing. That's corn syrup. I heard that's not good. Oh, really? You heard it's not good? What's your facts? Uh, uh, uh. And always, he's the guy wanting the girl. Have you seen the ads where they hold up a beer and it's a hot chick? And you're really wanting her, but the association is the Coors Light or the Budweiser or whatever with the woman. Basic psychology, basic advertising 101. Well, here it's the good-looking girl, beautiful day, the popsicles in a sunny day, under the shade, perfect, giggling background noises because it's primitive, you know, creatures. We like the sound of giggling children and happy people, and, and there's a sound of rustling wind. You know, that was a target men who want a mate. And associating at the primitive level, you will get the mate. And the red lollipop symbolizes sex. Uh, the uh, red uh, popsicle, red is the symbol of sex. The, folks, I took advertising. This is psych warfare, okay? And they're sitting there with it. So it's a, it's a tasty-looking popsicle. It symbolizes sex in the Freudian school. They have several other schools in there. Uh, there's the giggling children, the happiness this is a Garden of Eden, and in the middle of the Garden of Eden is this fruit growing, this red fruit. It is the red popsicle. 
And then at the intellectual level, he's an idiot. He shot his mouth off, but she showed him the woman. Now, for the woman, she sees this, and the girl's giggling up above him like the goddess. I just covered how it affects the man, the psych warfare on his angle. For the woman, she's up above him in the garden. She's happy, the sound of giggling children. She has the popsicle. It's the center of everything. And she shows that she's more knowledgeable and lovingly giggles at the fool. Now, there's other layers to this, but I just covered it, basically. This is what they're doing everywhere. And they have different types of propaganda they use, and they interwove them. Now, when we come back, I'm going to play Alec Baldwin. Ah, Alec Baldwin. Ah, you will be very useful to me. Um, I'm going to ask Max Kaiser, his friends with Alec Baldwin. I'm going to ask Charlie Sheen. I know they're friends. Uh, Alec, I know they got you to do this because it's a joke, funny ad, but you know, TV eats your brain. Uh, but we're going to eat the rest of your brain with the TV. And by the way, I'm a reptoid. Now, now when people talk about TV frying your brain or being used to, con to condition and control you, as we're just now illustrating, they will then say, oh, yeah, I saw that Alec Baldwin Super Bowl commercial. You see, they're making a joke out of all of this. They're making it funny, but it's not funny. By the way, uh, corn syrup. I can give you thousands of facts. I'm not the idiot in the ad. Uh, I can give you facts. Here's Washington Post, January 28th, 09. Study finds high fructose corn syrup contains mercury. Half of 55 popular brands have high levels of mercury in it, even though it's not involved in the manufacturing process. I mean, zoom in over here. I want to show people this. Okay, you want facts about it? Why is it filled with mercury? Washington Post. Just, just Google high fructose corn syrup mercury. You'll get hundreds of news articles. There, there's a fact for you. That dumb bimbo talked to me. I'd show her some facts. What's your facts? Okay, mercury head. You can't even understand me. You take so much mercury. Again, zoom in on this for the viewers out there. You see all these TV ads telling you that corn syrup isn't bad for you when there's all these mainline studies from universities, medical studies, showing that you eat it and then you're still hungry so it makes you eat more it makes you obese it is linked to diabetes it has all sorts of problems and so they're running ads to condition the public and then it turns out half of 55 major brands of food with corn syrup in it the 55 they tested half of them had high levels of mercury and they just say here at the end of the article the bad news is that nobody knows whether or not their soda or snack food contains HFCs made from ingredients like caustic soda contaminated with mercury. They use in toxic waste soda. The good news is that mercury-free HFC ingredients exist. Food companies just need a good push. A push. we got to push them. They only use these ingredients. And it goes on. Products bought off the shelf in the autumn of 2008 had mercury in them. Uh, so, again, study finds high fructose corn syrup contains mercury. Uh, so, oh, honey, you're you're eating uh, corn syrup. Well, what's your facts, Alex? Uh, the corn syrup comes from corn and is nutritious. Uh, uh, I, uh, uh, oh, God, you're so smart. I, I don't have any facts. I'm just an idiot. Some conspiracy theorist told me I, I don't have any facts. I, I don't have any proof. I, I mean, it, 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 it's good for me. I, I, I am sorry. I... Okay, well, there you go. Study finds... High fructose corn syrup contains mercury. This is from last week, folks. I mean, just Google bad effects of corn syrup, corn syrup diabetes, corn syrup liver. I, got, I just can't handle it anymore. Let's continue with review of propaganda. Folks on radio, hear the audio, which is most of the propaganda, but those watching TV are getting the visual.